So croquet, take the ball, take the hoop, take the mallet. If like me, you're taught by nuns, you will have been taught never to have a pendulum of any sort swinging between your legs. And so you will make little cross clicks, very easy, and you, it goes through a series of hoop, hit the ball through a series of hoops around a course. The rules are very basic and usually it's played with a lot of uh, champagne or pims. In the winter, people would play with uh, champagne and hot tea. Footmen would surround the uh, players in St. James's, often on Pall Mall. It was called Pall Mall originally, the game of croquet. And uh, King Charles played it with his uh, ladies and courtiers and locals would come and join him in the hope of catching the king's ear. A tailor, for example, might wander past in a particularly snappy ensemble, catching the king's eye and finding himself a nice new customer so that he could put royal appointment above his little shop. Same could be said for jewellers. He might, a uh, jeweller might walk past holding a gorgeous tiara. King might say, I say, Nell or Molly or whoever was round, would you like this gig or? She'd say, I think I would. And there we have it. The jeweller would find himself by royal appointment. So croquet was very much a levelling game in the 17th century.